Um, but today I want to talk about mindful eating. Um, we've been talking this week about you know how you eat and more of the psychology bit of it. So today I wanted to get into mindful eating. And when I talk to people about it, they're like, oh, that's just hocus pocus stuff. Yeah. Um, which, you know, okay, that's fine if that's what you believe. But uh, the reality is if, if you're not thinking about what you're eating, then you're just, um, you know, put ingesting calories. Yeah. Hey, Carol, that? good morning. Good morning, Carol. Same to you. Thank you very much. Um, and we've talked before about distracted eating, how so many of us now in, to, in today, today's age, we're doing everything and eating at the same time. We eat at our desk. Hey, Valerie. Um, we eat while we drive. Uh, we eat while we work. Like, it's just, it's crazy how much other things we do while we eat. So why does it matter? No, I was just saying, I just read a, uh, I was reading an article about a woman posted a question about uh, what can I, what can I have that's quick? I can take with me, stick it in my bag, you know, give it to my kid for school. And then the response is like, don't replace your meals. Don't look for a meal replacement. Eat meals. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. Because when you, when you eat unconsciously, um, your, your brain's not paying attention. Your mouth isn't paying attention. And then, you know, later, food is enjoyable. And so then later you're going to want to eat more because you want the enjoyment factor, not because you need, um, need calories. So one of the questions that I like to ask people is, are you enjoying the flavors and the textures of the food that you're eating? And I think a lot of times, especially when people eat uh, fast food or you know, highly ultra processed food, which a lot of, you know, 61% of the American diet is ultra processed food, they aren't even thinking about the textures because it barely requires chewing. You literally can just put it in your mouth and I, as soon as it gets enough moisture, you can just swallow it. Yeah, I actually think I've seen people not, not chew. Just like, like just take the whole thing and it swallows, you know, it, it's just, it's scary how fast people eat, you know, how fast people eat fast food, which is, you know, one of the things she says, I need something I can eat quick. No, you don't, you yeah. know, you really don't need something that you can eat quick because if you eat it quick, you're not giving your body a chance to do everything it needs to do, like create the uh, saliva in your mouth and... And, and start the digestive process and look and, and you know all well and it doesn't need to be digested because it's already ultra processed it's already ultra processed exactly <laughs> yeah so we have we have to and i've said this before i'm going to say it again we have to get away from the idea that feeding ourselves is an inconvenience and a waste of time um, i'm not sure how we managed to allow big food to convince us that that eating and taking care of ourselves and our health and and all of that is a waste of time that doesn't need to be done um, but we need to move away from that. So start enjoying the flavors and the textures of your food. Think about that. I know one thing I really like in my oatmeal is pumpkin seeds. And I like it because I like the texture of pumpkin seeds. Mm. I mean, I love the flavor. I think they're just yummy in general. But I like the texture of pumpkin seeds when I chew them. There's something about them that I really enjoy. And so that's one of the reasons I put them in my oatmeal. I mean, I like the crunchy ads. I mean, that's what it is for me because oatmeal, of course, usually isn't crunchy. It's pretty mushy. Right, right. So when you have the seeds in and I also put sunflower seeds in mine as well or tap yes sunflower seeds sunflower seeds right. yes <laughs> in mine as well and i just like that crunchiness is when i'm eating oatmeal it just feels like i'm eating something more you mm -hmm. know and valerie makes a good point people don't chew and not only that but they put huge amounts of food in their mouth mm -hmm. and it's like how fast can i get this ingested and i so that's something we need to move away from and something i want to make make you aware of is consider you know when you when you're eating are you thinking about what you're doing or are you just shoving calories literally empty calories into your mouth so enjoy the textures and the flavors is one thing that you can do and then you know pay attention you know the tv on on your phone on your computer driving whatever you're doing if it's distracting you from the flavors and textures why why are you distracting yourself from it what it, what is going on there and the question is individual to you you know i can't answer that question for you no one can answer that question for you thank you for the thumbs up laura thank you laura we appreciate it um but nobody can answer the question for you of why are you multitasking while you're eating um and most people when you say that well i don't have time the one thing you should have time for is to is to put nutrients and, and you know fuel into your body right I mean, mm -hmm. you know i mean that's just it's it's the most important thing you can do on a daily basis and that's the one thing about eating this way that i cannot solve for you is that you have to chew it like mm -hmm. when you're eating whole foods and you're eating the fiber and you're getting the nutrition and all of that is yes you have to chew it, it and it takes time to chew it and that's just how Hi, it is Carol. 
recently learned that I love pumpkin seeds. They're wonderful, oh, aren't yes. they? She really loves them. I um, just throw them in there, but she, you love yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to eat them as a snack, and I eat them one at a time because then they're, you know, it lasts longer. <laughs> um, but obviously, raw pumpkin seeds, no salt, um, is the way that we choose to eat them. Mm -hmm. But they are. They're a wonderful little snack, and they're good on lots of things. Um, Go ahead. I was going to say, not that salt's the end all the be all, unless you have hypertension or, or something like it's that. It's not, but it's easy to ingest a lot of it if it's you're a, eating it's it on It's easy to ingest a lot of it, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And salt in that form does override your body's ability to say, hey, I've had enough mm. because of the way you know salt interacts. It's kind of like when I eat popcorn. <laughs> yeah, he mm. can eat, like the amount of popcorn this man can put away is frightening. <laughs> and he puts um, soy sauce on it, right? Well, and I put uh, Bragg's uh, uh, oh, liquid amino aminos. acids now. Yeah, yeah. Liquid aminos. And then he puts everything, bagels, everything stuff on it so yeah he can put away like a huge bowl of popcorn it's kind of funny but so you know, be aware um, don't squeeze it in in between things make time to eat make time to um, to chew your food eat food that requires chewing obviously because yes. it's gonna have more nutrition in yes, it don't drink your food no, do not don't, drink, your don't food. drink your food. And then another thing that I, I like to ask my clients is why are you choosing to eat that because when you, if you can answer that question, why am I choosing to eat that? Is it because it's nutritious? Is it because you enjoy it? Is it because it's fast and convenient? And I feel like a lot of times um, when people are trying to figure out how to you know, move toward being healthier, the reason they choose to eat the food that they eat is because it's easy. And that usually means it's probably not super nutritious. Right. It's not a great choice. It's not going to be healthy for you. So that's a question that people don't like it when I ask because they don't really have a good answer. But if you can ask yourself, why am I choosing to eat this? I think it's going to help you become more aware of what you're eating. Be more mindful about what you're putting in your mouth, what your choices are. And um, so how you remember to ask yourself that question, I don't know. But I think well, that that's what a good I was going to say is, is sometimes it's helpful to find, like we've said yesterday, uh, like-minded people that are trying to... to uh, join you on this path or be a part of a path on your own, but you, you can have the ability to talk and communicate and find out some of the challenges you have and why you choose the foods you choose. Mm -hmm. you know, or you can you know, uh, join the Whole Food Muscle Club and once a month have that opportunity to uh, get on our live, which is coming up, by the way, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday week. And discuss it with, with like-minded people during the Q&A or, or with us you know, during the Q&A as well. I'm going to say Q&A one more time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that that's just an avenue, or, or avenues like that work really great. And the, on the community page too, they can you know, right, make, right. make comments and about on that. On a community kind of page. Yeah. Yeah. So, you and know, by the way, you can do that at rnrjourney.com. Oh, yes, got to tell them that, definitely. Um, and the other thing too is if you're mindful about what you're eating, then you know the, we've talked before about stopping when you're 80% full and being aware of, oh, you know, I'm probably about 80% full. I've probably eaten enough. Um, and that's really good for health and longevity as well. But if you're, you know, inhaling calories, you're not going to stop because it just, it, it comes in so fast that your brain doesn't have the ability to say, cease, desist, mm -hmm. enough. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today was just, you know, be aware. Start, start asking yourself the questions of why you're making the choices you're making, why you're ingesting what you're ingesting, and, and pay attention to when you're eating and enjoy it and enjoy the food that you eat. Mm -hmm. I know that I definitely, since we switched to this way of eating, am enjoying the food a lot more than I used to. I used to definitely be the person who ate because I had to, to survive, not because I enjoyed it. And I find now that I'm enjoying food more, which is interesting because... I weigh less, I'm healthier, and I'm and I enjoy food more. So I, we still just, get we still eat so much that we're too full, but not always. I, I mean, do. that's more I you do. than I, me. I always eat till I'm I, too I, full. I I try to be really careful. Yeah. But about as it. you can see, it, it's because it's whole food that my body uses it very well, and yeah, you know, I am not fine. gaining weight. I am maintaining my my ultimate body weight. Which you is are. Awesome. Yeah, you that's know? great. Yeah. Did you have any other thoughts about? Uh, no, just eating? just uh, remember that. Don't think about eating in terms of fast. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think about how you can, what, what is it you can eat while you're doing something else. Mm -hmm. Eat and only eat when you're eating. Just to say it you know, in a goofy way. <laughs> <laughs> um, look for a support mechanism. Look for um, somebody else that you can discuss and have the conversation about why you eat. Because I find that when you can talk it out with other people, it helps. Get your um, logical brain right. involved. And as I mentioned, if you can't find any place to do that, you know, join the Whole Food Muscle Club at rnrjourney.com and become a member, and then you can do it through our live Q&A. You can send us questions prior to the Q&A, and we will address them during the Q&A. Yep, I'm keeping a list. That's, that's Those right. of you who are right. I just got us. one today, as a matter of fact. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, so, and we'd love to see you there.
Absolutely. So that's that. And then our webinar is at howtofeedahuman.com. Howtofeedahuman.com. Correct. Is that all we have for them That's today? all we have for them Look, today. We're, oh, I thought we were going to be under 10 minutes and we're at 11. Yeah. Drat. I failed. You know, <laughs> so with that, we'll say eat real food. Mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.